everybody. So we're doing things a little bit differently and um, I went to a sandbar up in Banana River with my family and there were tons and tons of horseshoe crabs so I wanted to make a little video to talk to you guys about some. So here are two horseshoe crabs that we found that are right here. Um, horseshoe crabs are in the phylum Arthropoda and the word Arthropoda, arthro meaning joint and poda meaning foot. So Arthropod literally means jointed foot, and that's the main characteristic that every single arthropod actually shares. Um, these guys are super cool. They're considered living fossils because they have been around for millions and millions of years, pretty much unchanged. Um, this part of the horseshoe crab is called the dorsal side, and then this part of the horseshoe crab is called the ventral side. So these two are non-living. Um, these are actually molts. And one of the, another characteristic about phylum arthropoda is that they have this um, calcium carbonate exoskeleton and this exoskeleton does not grow with them. They have to actually come out and molt out of their exoskeleton and after, for a few days they have to hide because after they molt they are considered soft shells. So these horseshoe crabs um, got too big for their exoskeleton. Horseshoe crabs actually molt around 13 times in their whole entire lifetime and then all they leave behind is their exoskeleton. All right, so some parts of the horseshoe crab. Let's go this way. This part right here is called the cephalothorax. Cephalo meaning head and thorax is just your thorax, okay? So this is one big head unit, your cephalothorax. This part right here is called the abdomen. And this cool thingy um, is called the telson. And the telson is not actually for stabbing people or defense really. It is mostly for directionality. So if it was crawling, it would kind of be helping steer it like a rudder. Or, um, which I'll do a little video later, there are a bunch of horseshoe crabs that the waves flip them over, like this guy. And this horseshoe crab telson can actually move and kind of dig into the sand and help turn it back over. So it is slightly for defense. It has some spines on the top of it. You definitely don't want to step on these guys because it will hurt, um, but it's mostly for defense, steering, and then also flipping them back over. All right, so cephalothorax is your abdomen, and then this right here is your telson. Okay. 